hello, good day to everyone. Welcome to Mathematics Lessons Made Easy with Teacher Phoebe. So for today, I will be discussing Parallel Lines Cut by a Transversal Part 2. Okay, so sa Part 1, in-identify lang natin kung ano yung mga uh, angle pairs formed when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal. Now this time, we're going to dig deeper. So let us have the objective. The objective for today's lesson is to determine the relationship of the pairs of angles formed when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal. Okay, so ibig sabihin, tutukuyin that na, daw natin kung ano yung um, relationship, ano yung ganap ba dun sa corresponding angles, alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles, same side interior angles, same side exterior angles. Okay, so here are the relationship. Going to the, going back to the uh, figure that we have in the in our first uh, part of the discussion. Yan. So, ginamit ko lang ulit. Um, I-identify natin kung ano yung mga relationship ng angle pairs natin. So, let's have the first one. Corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are congruent. So, meaning, magkaparehas daw sila ng measure. Magkaparehas ng muka. So, ano nga ulit yung mga corresponding angles natin dito? We have angle 1 and angle 6. Sabi daw, kung yan ay 80 degrees, meaning this one is also 80 degrees. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng corresponding angles that are congruent. If angle 4, angle 4 is also congruent to angle 7. You see the symbol? This is our symbol for congruent. So that angle and this angle are congruent, meaning if this is 100 degrees, therefore this is also 100 degrees. That is what we meant by congruent angles. Okay, that are corresponding angles. Then next, we have the angle 2 is congruent to angle 5. So, yung angle na yun, tsaka yung angle na to ay magkaparehas daw ng sukat. Then, we have the angle 3 and angle 8. So, angle 3 and angle 8 are congruent to each other, meaning they are of the same measure also. Okay, so, yan yung corresponding angles natin. Next, let's proceed on to the alternate interior angles. When we say alternate interior angles, they are congruent also. Meaning, si angle 4 daw ay congruent kay angle 5. Kung ano yung measure ni angle 4, ganun din yung measure ni angle 5. Kung ano yung measure ni angle 3, ganun din ang measure ni angle 6. So, if this is 80 degrees, this is also 80 degrees. Okay, then next, we have the alternate exterior angles. Alternate in exterior angles are congruent angles, meaning angle 2 ay congruent kay angle 7. Meaning, kung yung measure ni angle 2 ay parehas kay angle 7. Or kung yung measure ni angle 7, tulad lang din yun lang kay angle 2. Then, we have the angle 1 and angle 8. Angle 1 is congruent to angle 8. Meaning, pareha sila ng measure. Okay? So, next, let us have the same side interior angles. When we say same side interior angles, ano kaya ang relationship nila? Same side interior angles are supplementary. Remember, supplementary angles are pairs of angles with a sum of 180 degrees. Meaning, dapat daw kapag plinos daw natin yung measure ng dalawang angles na yun, walang labis, walang kulang equal sa 180 degrees. Now, asan ba dito yung, yung same side interior angles natin? We have angle 4 and angle 6. Dapat daw pag plinos natin yun equal sa 180 degrees. Okay? So, we have that angle. If this is 80, the other one is also 100 degrees. Okay? Then, next, we have angle 3 and angle 5. Angle 3 and angle 5 ay pag pinag daw natin, walang labis, walang kulang, equal sa 180 degrees. Tignan daw dapat. 
around, okay? So, nawala lang yung symbol ko ng degree symbol dito, but it should have a degree symbol. Okay? Then, next. Right? So, the next one is the same side exterior angles. Same side exterior angles are supplementary, meaning when we add the measure of the two same side exterior angles, they must be a total of 180 degrees, like angle 1 and angle 7. Kung ano daw ang measure ni angle 1, which is 80, itlas daw natin yun sa measure ni angle 7, which is 100, then they are a total of, it is a total of 180 degrees. The next, we have the angle 2 and angle 8. Angle 2 and angle 8 should be a total of 180 degrees, so add them together, dapat supplementary sila. Okay, so same side is your angle. Now, what if in case some, I mean, all, all, almost all of the angles are missing and you are only given with one measure of an angle, how will you find the measure of the missing angles? Okay, that's so simple. First, I have here the following. Line X is parallel to line Y. Those are your angles. Okay, and the measure of angle 2 is 120 degrees. You see? Okay, now hanapin natin yung mga missing measure ng angle. Okay. pattern tong figure na to, okay? Measure of angle 4. Ano kaya ang measure ni angle 4? Anong, anong angle pay relationship ang pwede nating may apply para mahanap si angle 4? Ang dami. Meron tayong apat na posibleng reasons, okay, para mahanap natin si angle 4. Okay, unang explanation. Angle 2 and angle 4 are form, I mean, they form linear pair. 
diba? Si angle 2 at saka si angle 4. Meaning, dapat paglinas natin si measure ni 2 at saka angle 2 at saka ni angle 4, dapat they add up to 180 degrees. Okay? So, it must be a total of 180 degrees. Pangalawang explanation, si angle 1 at saka si angle 4 are vertical angles. Vertical angles are congruent angles. So, magsusolve ka pa ba? Isusulat mo na lang, gagayahin mo na lang, kokopyahin mo na lang. Pangatlong explanation, angle 4 and angle 5 are pair of angles that are alternate interior angles. Meaning, they are congruent. Remember? Pang-apat na explanation, angle 4 and angle 8 are corresponding angles. Magkatulad daw sila ng sukat. Sa apat na reason na yun, ano ang pinakamadaling maalala or maintindihan ninyo or pinakamadaling naiintindihan ninyo? Well, it depends upon to you. Okay? Basta ang measure ni angle 4 ay 60 degrees. <laughs> okay? Next, let's have angle 7. What is the measure of angle 7? Anong angle pay relationship ang pwede natin may apply para mahanap natin ng measure ni angle 7? Madami! Madami tayong pwede i-reason out. First, angle 5 and angle 7 form a linear pair. Dapat, pag pinag-plus, equal sa 180. Pangalawa, si 7 at saka si 8 form a linear pair. Dapat, pag pinag-plus, equal sa 180. Angle 7 and angle 1 form same side exterior angle dapat pag pinag-plus equal sa 180 degrees. Okay? Then next reason is that angle 2 and angle 7 are alternate exterior angles and alternate exterior angles are congruent. So, okay? Alin doon sa mga reasons na yun ang naiintindihan ninyo? Basta, Ang measure ni angle 7 ay 120 degrees. Okay? Next, measure of angle 6. To find the measure of angle 6, anong uh, angle pair relationship ang pwede nating may apply? Madami. Ito, madami na talaga kasi ang dami ng given eh. First, angle 6 and angle 4 form same side interior angles. Pag tinag-plus daw natin sila, equal sa 180. Angle 2 and angle 6 form a corresponding angles, meaning they are congruent. Parehas sila ng sukat. Angle 6 and angle 7 form vertical angles. Parehas sila ng sukat. Okay? Angle 6 and angle 5 uh, form linear pairs. So, meaning, pag pinag-plus daw natin ang measure nila, they must be a total of 180 degrees. Ngayon, kung ang pagbabasa natin ay si 6 at saka si 3, hindi pa. Kasi, wawala pa si 3 eh. Hindi pa natin mai apply yung alternate interior angles dito. Basta, alin doon ang naintindihan ninyo? Ang measure ni 6 ay 120 degrees. Okay? Then next, we have the missing, last missing measure of angle, which is angle 3. What is the measure of angle 3? Okay. <laughs> Ayan, nakikinigay ko na yung sagot. Ang sagot ay... Okay, hanapin muna natin kung anong angle pay relationship. Ang dami, ang daming pwedeng angle pay relationship na pwede natin may apply. First, angle 1 and angle 3 are form a linear pair, meaning they are supplementary. So, pag pinas daw natin, dapat equal sa 180. 2 and 3 are vertical angles. Vertical angles are congruent angles. They are congruent. They are of the same measure. Okay, si 3 at saka si 5, same side interior angles. Pag pinag-plus daw, dapat equal sa 180. Si 3 at saka 6, alternate interior angles. They are congruent. Si 3 at saka si 7, corresponding angles, dapat daw ay congruent. Okay, so alin dun sa reasons na yun ang pwede ninyong may apply basta ang measure ng angle 3 ay 120 degrees. Okay, did you see the pattern here? Ito yung pattern na sinasabi. Makikita nyo, 60, 120, 120, 60. 60, 120, 120, 60. Then, eh, makuha mo lang itong apat na to. Gayahin mo lang yan sa ilalim. Then, you'll get a perfect score. <laughs> okay? So, I hope you learned a lot in this video lesson all about parallel lines cut by a transversal. Please, stay tuned and keep on watching for the next upcoming video. That will be all. Bye-bye, everyone.
God bless.